do 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 Boot or boot? It's boot. 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 Yeah, you gotta, gotta add the H in boot. there. Boot. 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 <laughs> hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's Corbin. I'm boot. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, more G. Hit the glass. Go to that. 10 thicks up page for us on Twitter account. Subscribe to the like button. Boo! It's like, uh, and like, fuck your nipple. What? Oh, I've, I wouldn't even try that. Urmila. Urmila. No. Urmila. No, and you're thinking of. Rika. You're thinking of... Right? Reka. Ursula. Reka. No. You said it was Reka. It's Reka! Reka! <laughs> wow. Sorry, I did a lot of drugs before today. Uh, Bollywood, you know. You know. Gotta uh, prep. Gotta prep for Bollywood. Anytime you watch Bollywood Anytime. Movie, you're like, snort some cocaine. If you're on set, going on auditions, you're going to the premiere, or you're doing the reviews, you got to do cocaine first. Yeah. It's just the way it works in Particularly Bollywood. Particularly Ranveer's brand of cocaine. Yes, which is quite it, delicious. It's kicking. It's kicking. It's quite why it, it makes you take your clothes off. <laughs> Hence his nude pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> Uh, of the 2003 film, not to be confused with the other Bahuts that are out yes, there. Yes, or the Fahun uh, Bahut. The Fahun Bahut. I think this one probably started all the other Bahuts. Or the Cowboy Bahut. It's <laughs> just uh, uh, directed by Ram Gopal Varma. Who's that? Uh, some uh, guy. Some guy. And then uh, starring Ajay Devgan. Who's that? Ormila, right? Ormila? Yes, I'm not even going to joke about her because uh, she's... And Nana Petekar. Yes. Uh, which is uh, cool, even though I've, the only other thing we've seen him in is the, the original Marathi film, right? That, uh... But here's what's weird about that. I know we have barely seen him. But the minute he appeared on screen, I'm Ooh, like, oh, yeah, I love this guy. And then I remembered, wait, what have I seen him in? <laughs> and then, obviously, our first ever thing of her, obviously, is not really starring her, but she's in it, obviously, uh, Reka. Uh, which is, so it's cool. That I, I, before, when I picked this, I didn't actually realize she was actually in it. Um, so it was cool to actually yeah, not, be able to. Me uh, too. <laughs> I'm watching the movie, and all of a sudden she appears, and I'm like, what? I nearly... <laughs> Flew uh, out of my but, uh, the reason, pants. You might be like, why are you watching? Uh, I wanted to get to some sp spooky films we didn't get to last. Last year we did a full month of yeah. films. Uh, this, we're just going to do two or three probably before Halloween just because I want to watch some spooky films. Uh -huh. See if they, and I know it's, it's the not, time. It's not a genre that uh, India has particularly perfected that we've we've known, but I, I like watching spooky films around October. It's an American tradition. Absolutely. And so I want to find the ones, and this was has come highly, highly requested. Um, so, but came out in 2003. It'll be a 100 spoiler review. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back uh, and we will get into some spoils. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Speaking of spooky movies, my wife, much to my surprise, I thought we had watched it while we were long distancing, but we hadn't. She's halfway through and we'll finish it today. Beetlejuice. Oh, nice. Not really a horror. No, but, but a it's fun... a great Halloween oh, movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah great Halloween movie. Uh, she some is... people that aren't in America don't realize that we have a whole genre of non-scary Halloween films. Yes. Like, there's, like, my wife... They're campy. Not, my wife, even though she's been watching horror films with me this entire time, she, that's not really her genre. She loves Halloween, loves Halloween movies, but most of her Halloween movies are not... They're There'd just be Young spooky. Frankenstein, yeah. Beetlejuice, yeah. Hocus Pocus. Hocus Pocus, all those kind of what's Clue, yeah. uh, uh, Practical Magic, all those kind of stuff. Right. Um, so that's a whole different genre. But, yes, your it's initial okay. thoughts, please. Initial thoughts for those of you keeping score at home. It is our 61st film of the year, our 268th all-time our 36th Hindi film of the year, and our 165th all-time. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, so remember when we reviewed Rot by yes. uh, Ram Gopal Varma? Yeah, that was also him, yeah. Yeah, which I did not like. Yeah, you didn't like that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, I feel completely the opposite for this one. <laughs> I, this is, and we can get into it, All you, there's just... A few things I would say right out the gate. The first one is, this is now 
my favorite Indian horror film that we've seen. Over Tombad, though? Yes, and I knew that was going to be the one to bring up. And you'll see why I like this one a little bit more. If I have no qualms with somebody liking that one more. None whatsoever. And there's things about that movie. It's newer and it's artistically, obviously, Uh, better. uh, Of course. Of course. And that's why. And it also is a bit, it's definitely darker. You know? Yeah, it's a folk horror. Yeah, absolutely. But I'll explain why in a little bit. The other reason is I am just flummoxed, flabbergasted, find any other adjectives. Um, I sent to my Patreon peeps a, a photo of her from the film. I don't know that I've seen a woman on screen more sultry, captivating, sexy, mysterious than Reka. Yeah. I, I that that woman's presence. Oh yeah. I can't equate it to anybody. Yeah, she was very striking when she came on screen. Uh, just jaw droppingly and like intense and I, like it you took to... my breath away. I literally when she came on screen, I, my first thing was the shock. I was so happy we're finally seeing her yeah. in a in a movie. Yeah. And then as the movie progressed and they kept showing her on screen, I, I just was good. I'd say out loud, good grief. Mm-hmm. She's just one of the most beautiful, if not the, like she may be the most beautiful woman I've ever seen on screen. Mm. Astonishingly beautiful yeah. woman and perfect for that role. Yeah. Okay. So that was my, I love uh, this movie. I, I really enjoyed it as well. It's not a perfect film. No, it's not. Um, but for 2003, an Indian horror film, uh, it's probably the scariest. Yep. Even though I wouldn't say it's like this terrifying thing at all. Obviously. Great jump scares. Yeah, oh yeah. It's probably one of the first ones that actually had some jump scares in it. It had some uh, a great performance by Umila. Absolutely. Uh, and, Can't wait to talk about and that. And obviously Reka. Um, and, and then a, there's a good supporting cast. Uh, and it obviously had some flaws in terms of like um, budgetary things that you knew that sure. they probably didn't get a lot of money to do this because sure. it's a genre that in India it's just oh you're not gonna have songs and you're not just gonna you're gonna do a horror okay here's like five dollars right <laughs> like, I'm happy <laughs> I was happy to read that it was a box office success that yes. makes me so happy um, but like you those kind of things you could tell obviously and then and, and they had dubbing stuff and, and yeah all which that kind of just stuff. hurts so uh, bad yeah. <laughs> but oh. um, and, and but. Overall, throughout the entire thing, I was invested. I was also, there was like, no other Indian film has given me really jump scares the way this one. Even, there's been some good ones. The Marathi one was really good. Yeah. Um, and then, um, I, yeah, I liked Rot, but uh, this would definitely go in my top five easy of films to recommend for Halloween for Indian films. Yeah, this is my I, favorite. I, I think I put that out. This would be number one. Earlier. Uh, what, was it? what was the list? I don't remember offhand. Uh, it was I remember you put it out. It, no, I know what it was. It was Tombad. It was Stri. Yeah, that's absolutely. Uh, those come to for, for me. You just said them in the order for me after this one. Hold on. uh, Bull Bull. Bull Bull. It's uh, gorgeous. Uh, uh, what about Gown? Is that in your top five? No. No? No. That's such uh, a campy fun one, though. Speaking it is. of Speaking of Ram Gopal Varma. And, um, and Urmila. Which, where was it? We'll get into the direction talks. I don't want to jump category to category yet. But I will say, anyways, I don't the disclaimer know where... at the beginning though was, I mean, and, and Johnny explained why that why that disclaimer was probably there. Why? Because you know what I'm talking about. It said if you're pregnant or have a weak oh, heart, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you be warned. It's not because of this film. It's because of what happened in the theaters when The Exorcist was released. Oh, people literally, and I that does not surprise me, that people had like passed out had to have medical attention that happened here in the states yeah yeah i just watched the exorcist so i'm fresh off you could tell there was actually some inspiration oh of the absolutely exorcist in very this. much I, i'm inspired. like f- less than a week off of watching the exorcist for the first time ever so uh it's what very did you, fresh in my mind what did you think oh i loved it it's incredible isn't yeah it's it? a it's a really really well done creepy uh film. how about linda blair yeah she did a great job talk about a child actor yeah, doing right? a great job it was uh I hate that film so much. It's the best. I gotta say, it's the best film that I would watch, but I hate it. <laughs> it's definitely a creepy one for sure. I hate it so uh, much. Anyways, but back to this one. <laughs> and you had seen this in Johnny before? Yeah, yeah, you had seen this. Okay. No, uh, no, no. Oh, not a, not this. No, no, no. Oh, Bahut. No, she's not okay, seen. Okay, gotcha. Bahut. Anyways, but I know it was a, a, a box office success and all that, and so that that's that's really exciting. That's but easily, I'd say. 
not once again not to say it's exorcist terrifying or anything like not that. at all not at all but for india which obviously it's it, it's a genre that it's it's not explored a ton <laughs> well, in yeah. india and so and obviously they don't put a lot of money behind the writing behind uh, the the production of it this did a fantastic job for 2003 sure. and i think it's definitely the scariest of any of the agreed uh, um uh, spooky halloween films we've seen agreed uh and also gave some absolutely incredible forms that i want to talk about right now yep or uh wow uh, she just went through a whole transformation in this in, in this whole thing, didn't she? She after, you know, the the campiness of of gown and this, yeah, and then obviously Rangila as well. I think yes. uh, we we saw her, in, right? Yeah, yes. we liked her a lot. In I, I just like for me, I mean, it's a small category, but yeah, make her the queen of horror right now because it's one of the great things about horror when it's written well, and this was written well. I'm yeah. so grateful. We'll talk about the writing, but uh, this this is like. It's a 2003 film that's under two hours that has no songs and is heroin driven. Mm -hmm. That was not a box office success recipe. No. <laughs> or, or even artistic success recipe. People weren't doing that. Yeah. And she is the reason the film works. Oh, yeah. If she doesn't pull this off, and this is not something the average thespian can do. The average it's thespian tough, is going to do this and it's going to look like they're pretending. Yeah. I won't believe they're going through what I believed she was going through what she was going through. It yeah. wasn't like, I don't think it's fair to make a comparison to like Linda Blair and the exorcist because they're completely different types of characters, but uh, he, and I, uh, it's a credit, not just to her, but talk about the trust of Ram Gopal Varma. Mm. There was one moment where she's first really manifesting the fact that what's going on here is a possession and not a psychiatric event. Mm hmm. And AJ is holding her down as well as the maid. And he just wouldn't let up on the shot. No. And I was like, when are you going to cut this? And he just wouldn't cut. Yeah. It just kept going and going. And she never blinked. She stayed in care. This must have been exhausting. Oh, for her? Easily. For her. Like, I'd love to talk with her about her preparation, what she had to do throughout the day to keep herself aware of what she was and doing she had and to ready. Be emotionally ready. Because oh. it looked like, obviously, like I said, I just watched The Exorcist. And so that obviously, little girl, phenomenal job. But this one, man, it seemed like she was like, just this has intensely a different... almost like emotional the entire time this is a much different psychological parameter and complexity that was like demon this is a possession Correct. of somebody who wants revenge it's a little different like, obviously she definitely granted it was probably shot out of uh, shot sequence. out of sequence yeah. but a good actor is gonna plot their thing and know where they are and there was a pretty straight trajectory for Reagan's character in mm -hmm. Exorcist she's, she's pretty much she starts here and just starts to the whole way yeah she doesn't get that luxury mid scene. No. She has to go all over the place and make us believe one minute it's a sleepwalking thing, one minute she's possessed, one minute she's having a vision, one minute it's maybe a psychiatric thing. So much more difficult in that yeah. regard. Yeah. yeah. Great, she great did a, job. Such a phenomenal job. Best performance of her uh for obviously that we've only seen three things. So um <laughs> that's uh, not saying a lot. I feel like she brought the same intentionality with Cowan for just for whatever reason that only she and the filmmakers could could talk about it was a bit more over the top and campy yeah whereas this stayed grounded yeah yeah uh she did a phenomenal job also a phenomenal job on her makeup as well making yeah. her uh look her eyes tired crazy yeah uh possessed it, she, and she was slowly becoming yeah that woman yeah. yeah, she did a really good job next performance even though she's not the star i want to talk about reka uh this is our first film of Rekas. Uh, obviously heard a lot about Reka from her acting and her beauty to obviously her <laughs> off the camera stuff, uh, which is unfortunate. That's the first thing I ever knew about Reka. Uh, but the, she's a phenomenal actress and this is just a small supporting role of her. So I can't yeah. wait to see the rest of her oh, stuff. I want to see everything. Um, I want to see everything she's ever done. Yeah. And my hope would be she might one day consider talking to us because I know she doesn't do interviews. Yeah. I can understand why she wouldn't, because what I've read about the way she's been treated, yeah, awful. I wouldn't do interviews either. Oh yeah, at all. Come to us. Um, we don't do interviews like that. Yeah, because too often, and I think she's probably a good case study. Granted, I haven't read any books about her, but I've read enough to recognize that she's very much 
like the quintessential example of how often the media and the paparazzi prefer to uh, enjoy the public humiliation of a celebrity rather than focus on that person's artistic merits. Yeah. It's pretty sad. Yeah, it is very sad. Yeah. Because she, like, right when she came on screen, <laughs> it was me and my wife were like, oh, yeah, I, <laughs> Rick. I, I, I straight up, I, I'll, I'll show you the, the picture I. Here's the picture that I posted. It's from the film. This is this is good oh, grief. Man. This is her from the film. And I'll I'll put I'll probably post this on Twitter and, and Instagram later too. But I put it on Patreon. And when I did, I put this as the, as the caption. I just put wow, and said one of the singularly sexiest, smoldering, and utterly captivating women ever to grace the silver screen. Reka in Buhut literally took my breath away. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, a fantastic performance, a powerful performance. So, uh, did you, how, um, I got one of the best compliments I could get. I had this Zoom thing with a casting director through SAG, and it was a, a pretty intense scene, and it required, if you read the text and interpret it the right way, you're going to be still a lot. And that's the first thing he said to me was, I appreciated the stillness that you had for him because that requires that in this scene. Mm -hmm. How magnificently still she controlled everything, which is what was needed for this character. Power. Yeah, she had power. Because she conveyed, I am not some run of the mill, fly by night, don't know what I'm doing person who's trying to, you know, con people with some spiritual guru thing. I am a freaking queen in touch with the invisible realm yeah. and no one's gonna mess with me yeah <sighs> like right when she came on screen without saying a word you could just like just like when like a nasir comes on on screen you're like mm, this guy's bringing some different weight, weight right same kind of thing and so I, i'm so excited uh, to see the rest of her work when she's actually the star and like, yes uh, i want to see everything she's ever done uh, I'm, a, I'm i'm instantly a massive fan um, let's talk about the the rest of the cast here. Ajay Devgan, I thought did a really good job. He great had, job. He had the um, uh, I don't want to say easier role, but in comparison, <laughs> to he <Umila>. did. <laughs> he did. But what he did that was so it's it's not easy to do. Mm -hmm. He's a star, hero, Bollywood actor, allowing himself to play supporting. Mm -hmm. He's a lead, but his character is really supporting in this. Mm -hmm. And it'd be easy to try and make it. By the way. There's one of the scripted lines. Don't call your wife stupid. Um, <laughs> remember that? I'm like, oh, dude. But that, it, whatever. Stupid. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> um, but I, I felt he did a very good job in what the role provided. And it, again, could have easily been not believe. I believe this was a married couple. Mm -hmm. I believed that they... We're going and through his, what they were going and through. And his fear of, of what his wife was going through. I thought yep. he did a really good job. Obviously, Ajay Devgan, everything we've seen him in, he's always been a strong actor. Mm -hmm. Everything we've seen him in. Uh, we've always liked him. Yep. Um, and, and, and Nani, Nana, uh, which uh, I didn't actually recognize it was him. Because when we saw his, we've only seen one of the th film of his, I think. Uh, and it was obviously his Marathi film of, right. of when he was the artist. And he did a phenomenal job, right? Right. He was so much younger here. So much younger. But he also but still, still brought the weight yeah. uh, of being a thespian in that cop role. Yeah, credit to the casting. Yeah. The, the casting was all, all with people who could act. And even, uh, I want to see to give her credit, the maid. Yes. I thought she was really wonderful. She was so beautifully creepy at the outset. Yeah, I want to talk about that. Um well, there's a couple things I really want to talk about. What do you think was going on with the maid? Because, like, the entire time, she had this creepy vibe going on. I know. I, obviously, she she was a maid of, of the other house. Yeah. So maybe she knew. But she, I was almost like, is she possessed? Is it's, like, a, it's a credit to the writing. Yeah. And, and the writing duo, I believe, was behind Swadesh. I looked that up. Um, uh, Lelit Marathi and Samir Sharma have credits with Swadesh. I think that was intentionally done in the same way a magician will do. I forgot what the term is, but they'll do something over here because they don't want you to slide of hand. Yeah, it's it's more than the sleight of hand. It's a it's a diversion tactic mm. where they're presenting something over here to make you think this is where the main story is, but the real story yeah. is happening over here. Yeah, I think they did that at the front at, as a writing technique to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, I also loved. Uh, we're gonna blend disciplines here, but. 
you never know if it was the the director of photography's decision or the director. Ultimately, the director okay's it. But did you notice when they first they being uh, uh, AJ and the realtor when they walk into the apartment for the first time, the very first shot in the apartment they've changed the lens. It's a slightly I don't know what lens they used, mm. but they changed the lens on the camera so that it had a slight bit of a distortion and the edges came out, not fishbowl, but close to give you that sense of something's off mm -hmm. about this room. And then the angles changed. Yeah. A lot throughout the film, so many angles that made you uncomfortable. Yeah. Right? And also, what do you think was going on with the doll? <laughs> <laughs> Do you think it was just, uh, I don't know who kept moving it and why they didn't notice that it kept I moving. I know, it kept moving and appearing <laughs> in places. My suspicion is that just because there is in both you know, folklore and superstition as well as definitive spirituality things, connectivity between physical objects and spiritual things. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, it was just, it was linked to the kid. Linked to the kid. Yeah, that's what I thought, it was too. the kid's toy Never that really he was probably it. holding just before he died. Now was one of the budgetary things. Like uh, some of the makeup was really good, but oh, when, I can't wait to share that. When you when you focus on like when the kid, it literally looks like he's wearing Halloween makeup. I know. A bit. And the zombies in the movie theater yeah. were like, okay, yeah. those are those are background actors yeah. in in like store bought that's, makeup. That's obviously budgetary and but and, and stuff like that. The but. neck snap. Oh yeah. Come great. on. That yeah, was great. That was so. <laughs> it's had some of the better. So good. Which is one of the reasons. One I've. I've been I'm seeing I think 20 horror films in 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 October now because I'm just trying to get through all the right. classics that I've never seen because I never watched horror because I always thought I'd be scared and I found out most horror isn't actually scary. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> most horror isn't scary. It's just you like seeing fun kills, mm -hmm. uh, and this one had some of the most fun kills of any Indian film, uh, oh. especially that one. <laughs> like I think obviously I think it was a, a prosthetic head. It obviously. was really well done, but like <laughs> totally <laughs> snapped around, back and half. little blood coming out of the ear, and they just let it sit there for a long time. Yeah. When it came on. I, I audibly hear went, oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. I loved it. That's one of the things I wish. Because um, obviously there's an audience for, for horror films in India. It's yeah. just nobody wants to put outside of now, like, since Sri was successful, they're doing obviously, which is great. It's fine. And I'm so not, we love not, that genre. I'm not uh, mad at that, right? But I, people want to see horror. There's an I, audience for horror. There really is. I hope I see a lot of things in 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 Ram Gopal Varma's IMDb that's in production or pre-production or just script or I know a lot of people pitch. Say he, he kind of went downhill after like the 2000s. Ram oh, Gopal really? Varma. Okay, so I don't know. I that's just what I, I heard. Please, like, grab the mantle and be the Mike Flanagan that just embraces this because you've had success. Yeah. Gown and Street. Right? Yeah, I, I just can't. I would love to see this just held on to and have the one person do it that like paves the way for everybody else to come in and do it. Because the other thing that I love so much about the story, the minute they started bringing up the sleepwalking, I was waiting for the stuff that I was going to go, Ugh, nobody did their homework. Mm -hmm. And th thankfully, the writers and everybody did their homework because, yes, sleepwalking can come on. If you start doing it as an adult, it's usually a result of something, some trauma you've gone through. Mm -hmm. And then, yes, if that wasn't resolved, you'd go to psychiatry. And a psychiatrist would easily think she's got multiple personality disorder. That all was very believable. And I loved the representation of the psychiatrist and Reka's character oh, yeah. of being the fight that happens where psychiatry completely discounts everything of the spiritual yeah. and the spiritual discounts everything of the psychiatric. Yeah. And it's very hard to tell where the two have exorcist did that as obviously because he pure was, demonic possession yeah yeah that's exorcist. well he did that too because he was but, a, he was a psychiatrist first the shining is a really great yeah. great one and there might be some people who don't like this because they don't like mental illness represented as like a possession or something uh it shouldn't bother you I if you have a was what it was, no there's 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 people who don't like that like oh, okay. real heavy duty supporters of mental illness and awareness don't like horror films having people who are possessed being talked about as if they have a mental illness well i have a dad who's battled mental illness his whole life and i feel like i have a level of authority i can talk about in that regard and the reality is throughout human history they've always commingled because they always affect the psyche. Yeah. 
so it's what psychiatry comes from the Greek word that is the soul. That you can't separate the two. Mm. So I loved that. In I this just movie. thought about something when she was sleepwalking and she went into the neighbor's house and she was just staring sitting there, at staring at the old woman. Why? I don't know. <laughs> I just remember there that. was something about that woman. That woman and what that woman we was doing. We never got that answer. Though. I love that. Right? We didn't no. get the answer. Right? We did not get that. Not to my knowledge. Yeah, there's a couple um, things uh, that we didn't. get. So I answer. love the change of lens. I knew the first jump scare was coming as she's going up the stairs. I knew it was coming and it still got me. Yeah. This is what it I, still got me. Me and my wife both were like, got a little, and I was like, yeah. oh, nice. You uh, got you, me. You didn't, you don't normally get those in Indian horror films. I love the angles. Oh, I love the transition. There was a moment where the camera was doing a spin on the outside of the apartment from below. And then the edit took you to her in the bed and the same speed of spin was on the camera. Mm. Beautiful transition. I loved, um, uh, the uh, okay, the change of lens, multiple person. Oh, the other <laughs> sound design mm. I thought was spectacular. Great job with sound design, including making the big stuff scare us and uh, making little things. Like there was one moment where she was cooking bacon in the kitchen, and you could hear the sizzle of the bacon. It was just really well done. I know it was two thousand three, and I know it was Indian cinema, but. I absolutely loved it when she had taken the shower and was flirting with AJ on the stairs. Oh, and yeah. she's barefoot and she's like, yeah, I'm horny. And he's mm -hmm. like, oh, wow, yeah, right on. But then he never kissed her on the mouth. I'm like, come on! It's Indian cinema. Kiss her on the mouth! Right. No, nah, kiss her somewhere else. Yeah, uh, that too. <laughs> anyways. She just had a shower. So that is... <laughs> Where's all the flavor? Uh... <laughs> anyways. Uh, <laughs> so that is our review of <laughs> Bahut. Love the movie. Uh, very fun movie. Uh, Love. Very, very glad we finally got to it. This is one that I think after last year, and then any time I bring it up, people are like you should watch Bahut. So, so I'm, glad. I'm glad we we finally did. If there's other uh, kind of spooky films that we can watch uh, this Halloween, Ray like I said, I'm gonna probably watch Ray two to three uh, before Ray Halloween Ray is Ga. over. Let More us know Ray what that should be. Ga. And obviously, I know obviously Silsila with uh, Amitag Bakshan and and Jaya, and then there's Urmila, whatever that one is called. Very famous. Yeah, Rekha all one. of her stuff. She has a whole bunch of other stuff too so let us know what the next of hers or mila as well aj as well let us know what you think about this film down below mm -hmm.